from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. As managers of the Orlando Towers Estate, a sectional title and lifestyle development in Soweto, residential estate manager Lansan Property Group notes that there is growth potential for sectional title property management in townships such as Soweto. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. The Orlando Towers Estate marks Lansdowne's first venture into Soweto. The estate is being developed in stages and has recently handed over the first phase comprising 136 one, two and three bedroom apartments to mostly first-time homeowners. On completion, Orlando Towers Estate will have 568 apartments priced from 600,000 to 980,000 Rand. Lansdowne CEO Jonathan Kohler remarked that as managing agents, Lansdowne constantly educates residents on sectional title living and factors such as the importance of levies, body corporate rules and policies around pets, acceptable noise levels in the scheme and which portions of the building are common property. For us as Lansdowne to educate a first time homeowner who's buying in a sectional title complex of what sectional title is. For example, the fact that if they're buying an apartment that they own the inside, the interior of the unit and that the outside of the building is actually common property. And why they're paying levies and they're paying levies for the maintenance of common property for property insurance, for service providers like security, managing agents, utility management companies, etc, etc. And why it's an important part to pay those levies so their asset is protected, it's maintained, it will have capital appreciation going forward. Affordability is definitely an issue and I think that has to do um, again with education to the purchaser on, on what they have to do with their credit score how much of a gross income that they have to earn in order to qualify for a bond. That's our biggest challenge, but that's our biggest opportunity as well, you know, because once we've educated um, buyers on exactly what to do, uh, I think the market will really thrive. We're very, very proud to, you know, to be sort of educating people on purchasing properties for the first time. Um, and, you know, we can add a lot of value with our experience in that market. Meanwhile, Lansdowne is also managing Stain City's apartment complex, City Centre, also in Gauteng, which Kohler describes as a flagship project for the group. Lansdowne now manages all the bodies corporate in Stain City, including the City Centre, as well as Capital Park, Stain City's office park. Stain City is, is, is the absolute top end of the market um, in terms of the amenities that the estate has. Uh, you know, 960 hectares of land, uh, so, you know, when the development's completed, plus minus 10,000 homes being built, um, uh, you know, in the city centre, you know, which we're in at the moment, you know, the crown jewel of Stain City's development, you know, people are purchasing there for 60,000 rand a square metre, which is a massive, massive cost, you know, but with that comes a 300 metre lagoon, um, it comes um, unrivaled security, 18 hole, Jack Nicholas golf course, um, helipads, etc., etc. All of the bells and whistles. So if you are purchasing a, a 36 million rand penthouse here, you know which Stan City properties are sold, um, compared to Orlando Towers, um, which is sort of entry level 530 thousand rand. Um, it's a first time homeowner for them to get onto the property ladder. Um, but where I think a lot of the growth in South Africa is going to be creating that sort of um, large emerging middle class, you know, you know getting on the property ladder um, and where the real growth is going to be. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.